So we bought an abandoned resort. It's going to be okay though. Probably. But is it? Yeah. Is it going to be okay? I think I think so. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the deal. Hey, it's okay. <laughs> we bought the abandoned mansion and, and it turned out good. And I was like, well let let's do that again, but like bigger. And so I started looking for a ghost town. I thought that'd be fun. Did this without without me knowing. You knew about it ish. I didn't know you were serious. Yeah, you should have. <laughs> That's on you. So I was looking for a ghost town, and and I found this. It's actually an abandoned resort near my hometown. And it's nine times worse than the abandoned mansion. 99 times worse than the abandoned mansion. It's very bad. I think that might be an understatement. It's 900 times worse <laughs> than the abandoned mansion was when we found it and we bought it. It's a <laughs> <laughs> This is what I don't know if it's possible. My goal is to turn this abandoned resort back into a functioning resort that you guys could come to. It's going to take a little it's <laughs> a little bit of work though. Yeah, that was the best building on the property and then it burned down. There's actually a lot of buildings. Um, there's like 40 buildings on this property. And I'm not going to be able to tell you everything about this place in this one video. It's going to... I'm going to give you very minimal. Let's just say that all of the buildings now house goats. Or sheep or whatever they are. I don't even know. Yeah, I'd say normal resorts, you know, their clientele is humans. Goats live in these rooms. Like in the beds. Like in the beds, and they have for a long time. <laughs> it's pretty gross. Use your imagination. Like, think about what it could be. Think about the potential. Don't look at what you actually see. Don't think about what it is. Think about what it could be. Because it could be great, and it was great at one point. This resort operated... <laughs> Do you need a glass? This resort operated for like I that I don't 40, that. 40 to 50 years. And then it started just going downhill from, from the history I've learned about it. And they closed it about 20 years ago. And it has just been vacant for 20 years. For two decades, no one's been here. And it was run down before that happened also. But just use your imagination. And imagine. Imagine this place nice. And not like it is. <laughs> I got you another wine glass. Did you drop your other one? So this building was at. This building was actually the crown jewel. This was the lodge, the restaurant, um, and it was really cool. You can see all the rock work that survived the fire. And unfortunately, the, this building only burned down like three years ago. It was just the whole place was closed down. We don't know if it was some kids messing around or just a bad faulty electrical, but. It just burned to the ground and I actually have pictures. I found a photo album out here and there's pictures of weddings out here and it's all beautiful and the grass is all manicured and everything. That part is cool. Everybody's, I'll, give it, I'll give it to you. That it, part is cool. It is cool. Like they're in their dresses. I, there's an old lady. I have a picture of an old lady sitting on that fountain right there and it's on. That's just so cool. I'm going to show this stuff all to you guys later, but there's a bunch of really cool history out here. People had weddings. People had company retreats. People did all kinds of super fun stuff. There were horses, there were a bunch of bunnies and animals out here. This thing is, it's over 300 acres. It has a mile of the Guadalupe River. The river's pretty, the land is beautiful out here. All the structures are terrible. Let's move on this tour. <laughs> Mayor, the pool's closed. But I did get you another glass. You're probably not supposed to have glass in the pool. <laughs> it just sunk in the water. Everybody knows that every good resort has a nice swimming pool. 
This one has two. And they're, they're nice-ish. I mean, they, they could be someday. So this is our pool. This is where you can lounge and relax. Aren't you relaxed? Can you get that chair out? I don't want to get flesh-eating bacteria. <laughs> I got you another glass. <laughs> what? So there's tons of rock work um, that a lot of it was done in the 50s and 60s out here. Um, and then of course a lot was done later as well, but it's all kind of deteriorating now and overgrown. And this is a sidewalk we're walking on that you can barely see. Around me are cabins. So some of these cabins, which is pretty interesting, haven't been opened in 20 years. Um, and I know that because they're locked and you can look in and the beds are made. Yeah. It looks like a maid came in 20 years ago, made everything perfect, and walked out, and that was the end of it. Some of them have been open and goats have been living in them, but some of them completely untouched for two decades. So this is a room that hasn't been open in 20 years, like half of these out here. There's uh, seven buildings here, two units in most of them. There's a double decker with four units over there, and half of them, they're all locked. We can't get in them without kicking a door down, and we haven't kicked any doors in yet. Just a lot, I mean, a lot of exploring to do out here, but pretty crazy to see the beds. Yeah, like the rooms are ready. Weird. There's no smoking signs, like sitting on the bed. It says like, please, no smoking. And it's just like they left it ready for the next guest. And then they were like, actually, nah. let's close. This is the administrative building. Here you go, I got you another wine glass so you don't have to drink out of the bottle. It's just rude, really. <laughs> this uh, this building was where they did all the offices. Um, there's a little workshop in the back of it too, where they would work on stuff. If you walk this way a little bit, there's two more like garage workshop kind of buildings. That's my new van. No big deal. It's gonna be awesome when I get that thing going. But a couple more buildings. They're super trash. You can see this one's missing a roof. This thing's also missing a little bit of roof here. Things that have been abandoned for a long time without roofs. They don't work out so great. So we're trying to figure out kind of where to start because like I said, there's 40 buildings. We're showing you like 10 of them or less today. Um, but we probably need like a base of operations, like probably the office building would be a good one to get going first. Hey, I found this in there in the little cafe. You think it's still good? Habanero salsa. It's still <laughs> wet in there. Is there a date on this? Definitely not. It only costs four price? bucks. Yeah, there's no date. I dare you to go smell that. Oh. This they called Quail Canyon Lodge. Uh, it was, it's, it's got a big meeting room for businesses and I guess really weddings and stuff too. Like a yep. huge banquet hall. Banquet hall, yeah. Uh, and so it's just really nice. They're clean in there. It's definitely not covered in goat poop. Oh wait, no, it's, it's terrible. And it's still set up for Christmas. Yeah, it's got a Christmas tree in there <laughs> and it's got like tables and stuff. So it's one of our little condo buildings. That one, I don't know if it's salvageable. There's um, three more that are similar to that that are. This one, the roof is terrible though. I'm actually, I said I wasn't gonna take you in anywhere. You guys, you know, you deserve something. I'm gonna take you in the game room in case you wanna play and have some, have some fun with the game. Usually game rooms are lined with goat poop on the floor. Uh, just to oh keep, gosh, it smells so bad in here. Just to keep, uh, you know, I don't know. There's there's four inches of goat poop in here. The I really goat plate. I had on tennis shoes. Oh, you have sandals on? You want a piggyback ride? No, I'll take a shower when I get home. I'm letting you come through this building because it's actually kind of spooky. Um, this building is actually really old. You can tell by these windows and these concrete walls. But these windows are super old. I think this building was built in the 50s. I don't know if they didn't put roofs on in the 50s or if this roof fell off, but maybe they just didn't have roofs back then. I think they were invented in the 60s. This pretty much sums up uh, everything we found about this resort. There's definitely something that is not right here. And instead of leaving, Matt didn't, Matt didn't take this as a warning. 
Instead, I invested everything I had into it. Pretty much the opposite of leaving. <laughs> These are a couple more, oh, watch that step. A couple more of the condos. They actually have a pretty cool little boardwalk down here, but I mean, it's totally rotten. Yeah, it's, it's not gonna last a whole lot longer. And the river is down there. Uh, it's a really pretty river. It's the closest this river actually comes to our hometown. Um, it's just about like eight minutes outside of town, which is really cool. So <laughs> we got this beautiful view. These are actually on a bluff, so it goes way down right here. They're just terrible, and you'll see that in, in the future, but we also gotta start fixing up rooms so that people can come out here and stay. These will be great once they're... These will be amazing. I mean, this is, you guys know, I like views. And this is the view, There's beautiful horse pastures on the other side of the river over there. And the river just goes right down here and it's a river that's always flowing, which you don't always find in Texas. This one always has water moving in it. Great for kayaking, great for tubing, great for kids to play on. It's gonna be really good. And really pretty pastures down there. So the plan is to figure out a way to make this work, um, to figure out a way to make this make money. Uh, <laughs> Because it's going to be super expensive to not only renovate, but also just run it. And we got to figure out how to get insurance on it. And I don't know. There's so much stuff. Like our house, we had done some small renovations before our house, and then our house seemed like an overwhelming task. It took three years just to renovate the house. Yeah. I think what has me most, like, huh, is like not necessarily the renovation part but like we don't know anything about running a hospitality business i know everything about the resort business <laughs> yeah no we know also, nothing <laughs> you owning a resort is kind of comical in itself i know and i have that's a really... like the least resort type person first of all ever. how dare you <laughs> i just want it to be like awesome yeah i want it to be so cool if people want to come back every summer, they want to bring their kids back here. Or every bachelor party, people are like, we want to do it here, because my buddy Jim had his bachelor party there, and it was insane. They have a tank. We have to buy a tank. We're nervous, we're scared. Uh, it's the biggest investment we've ever made, and Mare and I did it alone. Here, you should try it, it's kind of fun. What do you do with this? Throw it. Whoa. <laughs> That was fun. I was I, expecting you to hit the rock nah, of the window. Gonna, you broke the window! Yeah, I did. It was already a little broken. <laughs> so we're nervous, but we're gonna put everything into I'm this. Not, I'm not nervous at all. Oh yeah, you're good? You <laughs> confident? I'm totally fine. It's because you, you have a great husband that you believe in, uh -huh. which is lucky for you. <laughs> not every girl's that lucky, Mare. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make it work though. This is my promise to you. Well, to you, but also to you. This is gonna work. We are gonna open a resort in one to two to seven years. 10, 20? There will be, yeah. there will be a resort. I mean, we're gonna have, we're gonna open it in phases. Cause like, we're not gonna do all this at once. We're gonna do kind of one unit at a time. And so we'll, we'll be able to slow open it, I think, and ramp up and learn how to make a good resort. God, every time I say it, I'm like, this is a bad idea. Oh, what do we do? Have you ever heard of buyer's remorse? I'm feeling it. All right, that's it. We're signing off. We're going to get to work on the next renovating an abandoned resort episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Wish us luck. I will. <laughs>